The Earth is a water and dirt filled rock that tumbles through space, but it's actually pretty complex. As a matter of fact, if you were to drill a well from the surface of the Earth down to the middle, to the very center, it would be about 6,000 kilometers. Well, that's, that's a pretty long way. But the area that we live on, the crust of the Earth, is actually pretty thin. It's only up to about 70 kilometers thick, which sounds thick, but it's really not. There's four main layers to the Earth, and what I want to do today is see if we can put together a tasty model of what those four layers might look like. The crust of the Earth is the thinnest part. It's the part we live on. It contains all of the rock and resource and, and is a basis for the, the hydrosphere, all of the water and, and uh, the interactions with the atmosphere and all of the, the air above us. The crust uh, is thicker in some places than in others. Matter of fact, what we call continental crust is the thickest part of the crust, and that's the part we live on, the dry land. There also is a basaltic part, a oceanic crust, which is much thinner. But the crust, when compared to the entire thickness of the Earth, all 6,000 kilometers, is actually very thin, and it's no thicker than the diameter of this layer of caramel that I've just spread over the outsides of this bowl. It's extremely thin. As we drill down through that crust into the next layer, what we find is what we call the mantle. The mantle is a, an area where pressures and temperatures rapidly increase. And there's actually two parts to the mantle. An upper mantle, which actually behaves something like toothpaste, and we'll represent that with this red icing. It's semi-solid, but it flows with heat and pressure, and it's actually the, the layer at which the crust moves around on. So here we've put our, our upper mantle on the uh, crust, which is the outside of our earth, and we're working our way in towards the middle. The next layer is the inner mantle, which is well, the thickest unit of the earth, it's the thickest layer of the earth, and it's comprised mostly of hot, dense rock, so we can get this mantle out of here, and that takes up the bulk of the earth. So the mantle makes up the majority of the interior of the earth, so we'll spread this around and leave a spot in the middle for the core, which actually has two parts. The inner core is made up of solid iron and nickel, and it sits at the center of the earth, and around it is a layer of liquid, metal, and iron. And that is because of the intense heat. The intense pressure causes that metal to become solid, the inner part of the earth, and it is liquid in the outer part. And this liquid layer actually is what creates the earth's magnetic field. As the spin of the earth causes the iron and metal to spin around the inner core, an electromagnetic field is generated, and that creates the earth's magnetic field. The jawbreaker represents the inner core here in the middle, and around the outside is our liquid outer core. And then we have 1,800 kilometers of this white pink goo, which represents our thick mantle section. And then the uppermost mantle is a liquidy layer that is the sliding around on layer that the crust moves around on during plate tectonics. 